Yes! These are army ants. So they kind of move through the soil and create these very shallow temporary nests, and then they will spread. That is super crazy. I was not expecting to find those army ants. All right, look what we just found. Yes, these are army ants. This is one of our North American varieties of army ants. So you can see they're following a trail and this is because they are almost entirely, if not entirely blind. So they're leaving pheromone trails to follow each other. So now that I've separated them from this nomadic little colony strip here, they are confused. Here's some more down here. Now they're primarily nomadic, which means that they transport the locations of their colonies over time. This is probably uh, in the genus Novomermex or Nevomermex, um, which are some of our smaller army ants, and they're primarily Mermecophagus, and they, which means they attack and eat other ants, primarily other ant larvae. So they kind of move through the soil and create these very shallow temporary nests to hunt other ant larvae and pupa. So basically what they do is they move to an area, they gather as much food as possible, usually other ant larvae, and then they will spread. They will reproduce, feed all their larvae at once, all the old adults will usually perish and die, and then all of the new adults will begin the journey again, escorting the queen to a new area full of lots and lots of food and a lot more space to grow more workers. So let's take a look here. Oh, these would have been cool to get macro shots of. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, we had a great time. I'm gonna let these gals get back to business. That is super crazy. I was not expecting to find those army ants. So thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed seeing some army ants, which you may or may not have known, do range up into North America. So that was super cool. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any more episodes. And every little thing that you guys do to support me helps. If you're just watching the videos, thank you. If you're liking them and commenting them, thank you. If you're supporting us on Patreon, thank you so much. Everything that you guys do allows me and my team to go out and film more content and bring you guys even cooler and unique species on a much more regular basis. So once again, thank you guys for your support. Continue doing what you're doing and I'll continue doing what I'm doing. So thank you and tune in next time for the next episode of Jack's World of Wildlife.